Hey guys, Charlie here from HotTipCentral.com here with a quick little tutorial that I'm not entirely sure everybody really knows about, but it could help you out, and if it does, uh, you're welcome. And if it doesn't help you, well, then I'm sorry, because you watched the video and it didn't help you. But So here is my mailbox right here, and we're going to talk about how to get rid of spam. So I have a pretty decent system set up for getting rid of spam. I just simply use different email accounts for spam. Uh, and how I do that is I sign up for websites uh, when I make an account somewhere. I sign up using email addresses that I never check. Unless it's something that I know, like I know I need to get alerted on that. So what I do, for instance, if I have a site that I actually like and I want to receive updates from them, I'll create filters in that junk email box so that it gets forwarded to me automatically but I want to make sure that if all else fails, I can cut ties with them and they're only going to be restricted to just an email inbox that I don't use. That's how I do it most of the time, but every now and then, mail slips in. So like these little meds for life and you can get best-selling things on Viagra and Cialis and I don't want these messages. So what I do is I'm going to create some email filters that will take care of these things for good. Generally, I don't get a whole lot of spam mail. I've got a system down to where I just don't get it. But the ones I do get are consistent. So I can always rely on this little Canadia Pharmacy or whatever. Canadiana. Canadiana Pharmacy. Uh, I can always rely on this message coming in my inbox like twice a week. And it's always exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a filter to get rid of this. We're going to go to Preferences for Mail, and we're going to go to the Rules tab. It's right here. And you'll see existing rules. There are no rules here. I'm going to go ahead and select Add a Rule. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this Spam Filter 1. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a rule that says, if any of these conditions are met, then I want you to do something to it. So if any of the following conditions are met, we're going to say the subject line, because the subject line is always exactly the same. Top sale, Viagra, Cialis, etc. So the subject line contains, if the subject line contains uh, the word Viagra in it. Uh, let's see, what else? If the subject line contains the words uh, Cialis in it, because I just don't want that shit. Uh, uh, Viagra Cialis, if it contains uh, pharmacy, because I know I'm not going to need any emails with pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, or anything like that. Uh, now, if I do from, I'm also going to do a from rule, because it's usually this email address, too. So, if it's also from this person here, equals to this email address here, I also want this rule applied. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to perform the action. I'm going to tell it what action to perform. I'm also going to put a couple more rules in here just for the hell of it. I'm going to go uh, say from contains and I'm going to say Canadiana because I don't need, if anything is Canadiana, I don't need that. So that's that. And I'll probably add the pharmacy rule in with the from line too. Just for, just for shits. Okay, so I have six rules here. And if any of these rules are met, a this is the following action that will happen. And I want to select delete message. So if any of these are met, it's going to delete the message. It will then ask me, when I hit apply, it will then ask me if I want to apply these messages to the selected inboxes. And it may change their contents. And I'm like, that's fine. So go ahead and hit apply. And when I hit apply, instantly, that message is gone. It figured it out, it said this message matches one of these criteria, and it deletes it completely, it's gone. And I, now I will never be alerted to a message that contains that, ever. And that makes me happy, <laughs> clearly. Um, and you can apply these rules to basically every single inbox you have. You can have multiple inboxes. And this is really convenient for those of you who are using things like Gmail, and uh, you know other email services like Yahoo Hotmail and you can't figure out really how to do the spam filters on those networks because if you're doing this with an IMAP configuration to where your inbox on your computer is synchronized to the one on Gmail, 
then when your mailbox, when your mail app deletes that email, it will delete it in Gmail too, like on the site. So it really is just getting rid of it completely, and that's really good. So I have this other thing here. I keep getting this one too, support meds for life with these blank links, and it wants me to click links and go and purchase family packs for medicine because it's so vague. Whoa, medicine, we have medicine. Medicine for what? I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and add another rule for these guys. And this one is, this email address changes constantly, but it's always at mayberrydental.com. This part here changes, but this part doesn't. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say spam filter to, why not? I could probably just add this to the other spam filter, but just for the sake of doing it, I'm just gonna make another one. And I'm gonna say if any of these conditions are met, I'm gonna do from, and then you see the message that's selected, you'll notice that this is actually pretty intuitive. The message that's currently selected, which was this one, it thinks that I'm making rules based on the message I'm already looking at. So it automatically fills in the from field when I click from, it automatically fills in the email address that I'm looking at, which is pretty slick. And this is Mac OS 10.8.4, by the way. I don't know if it does this before Lion, but I think you can do this all the way down to Tiger even. So you probably are fine as far as how these things work. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to delete this part and if anything comes from mayberrydental.com, it will get deleted now. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete message, spam filter, go ahead and hit okay, hit apply, and bam. So you can use these spam filters, uh, you can use really any of these things too if you wanted the dynamic things like if an email comes from a particular person, right? So if like, if I get an email from my mom, I could type in mom message or something. And the description of the rule doesn't matter. It's only the actions that matter. So if I can say, if it's from, and then I type in my mom's email address, mom at momiscool.com, um, I could say I want to play a sound or I send a notification to me, you know, or automatically reply to that message redirect the message to someplace else, you know, flag it. You can do all sorts of things to, you know, even set a different color for it if it's them. It, you could really do a whole bunch of different things and have it automated by using rules in mail. So give that a shot. If you didn't know about it, go ahead and give that a shot. And hopefully that helps your productivity and maybe alleviates some of the stresses of having to deal with spam.